So let's get a live update now in this morning telecast. My colleague Supriya Bhardwaj has been tracking the Yatra is currently in the Kashmir Valley. All right, can clearly see the snowfall around you and uh, can't help but mention, slightly jealous Supriya, but uh, of course the Yatra comes to an end today. You've tracked it from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. But why is today so important uh, more than the Yatra for opposition unity? First and foremost, I must say, Pooja, your state is very beautiful and it's, uh, you can see as this uh, morning is there today, uh, it is snow as well as rain. It's rain-filled snow which we are witnessing here in Srinagar today and as far as Congress party is concerned, they are geared up. They have two major plans today lined up. Uh, the morning might look all white and bright as well as the rain is there, but Congress party is saying, come what may, uh, we will make sure that uh, as far as uh, the entire program is scheduled is concerned uh, that will continue uh, as per the, uh, the uh, as per the uh, plan as per the strategy first and foremost around 10 a.m. Uh, we are hearing that uh, all the Congress party's top leaders will be going uh, to the office of Jammu Kashmir Congress uh, Committee in uh, Srinagar. This is at the Lal Bag area, and from there uh, they will be in uh, Mr. Malika Arjun Kharge, who is the Congress president, will be inaugurating uh, the Congress party's uh, permanent structure to mark the entire yatra. Bharat Jodo Yatra Memorial, that is what they are saying. And after that, at uh, 11.30, the entire program in Shere Kashmir uh, Stadium of Srinagar will take place. It's a massive rally which the Congress has organized. As far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, uh, some of the people uh, are saying uh, over here that uh, Mr. Gandhi, as well as all the other leaders, will be reaching the stadium around 11.30 and the program will go by schedule. And uh, as far as... His attacks are concerned. Yesterday, while sitting in Srinagar, he actually raised the issue of Ladakh as well as LAC and targeted the government once again. He said that it seems the Prime Minister is the only one who is in denial and we cannot use this approach of denial because we have to send a message loud and clear to the Chinese uh, saying that this is not going to be done. Our yes. lands uh, cannot be taken away from her, us. Supriya, so also, Supriya, stay on with me. We have some big news coming in with regard to the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Let's quickly take Take a look at that. This is with regard to what on. So while Rahul Gandhi was unfurling the national tricolor in Srinagar at the iconic Lal Chowk, which is the clock tower, it became a huge political controversy. Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar has now taken to social media site Twitter to say this is how dynasts and their cronies disrespect the national flag by putting their large cutout next to the flag, perhaps to boost their reality uh, and their itsy reality, he says, in violation of the flag code that all Indians <coughs> must observe. So basically, the BGP and the government are saying that at the top has to be the national flag, but it was your cutout even going higher than that and that's how you show that you disrespect. You can see the visuals on your screen. Uh, this is uh, what has become a huge controversy. See, let's quickly uh, bring in Supriya Bhardwaj for the latest on that. So, Supriya, since yesterday, in fact, that has been raging on with regard to what exactly happened that uh, the cutout was, as it appeared from the view, was larger than the triangle. Has Rahul Gandhi reacted to that? Uh, what has the Congress party said? Because the BJP is clearly attacking on it. Well, as far as Congress is concerned, uh, Pooja, Rahul Gandhi hasn't reacted. Uh, but as far as the Congress is concerned, they are saying that this is nothing short of the fact that BJP is rattled because the Yatra is really a huge success. There were these murmurs from the BJP side and uh, later on when the Yatra started on 7th of September in Kanyakumai that this Yatra won't get completed. But no, not just Yatra got completed, it has also ensured that it's a massive blockbuster super hit. As far as the Congress party is concerned, the Yatra is a hit. A large number of people came out right from Kanyakumai to Kashmir and at the same time also they are saying because we have raised the issues of that of unemployment and price rise even in Kashmir as well as Jammu people were talking about these two major issues apart from that of statehood. Uh, they are saying that BJP is trying its level best to divert the attention. They are not uh, keen to talk about the issues of that of unemployment price rise and even that of China. So Congress party is upbeat. They are saying this is just the beginning. Rahul Gandhi yesterday said that this Yatra is just a beginning and there are more action in store. Congress is also saying that that uh, because the Yatra is a super hit and the budget session starts uh, uh, from tomorrow, they, they will be going and uh, raising out, uh, raising all the issues that were raised by the day, people in the uh, parliament. From what you're telling yes. us, Supriya is going to be the big opposition unity day and it's the culmination 
And uh, thank you very much for now. Enjoy the snow of the Kashmir Valley too because remember Supriya has walked major part of those 4,000 kilometers to getting us daily reports and updates from the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Supriya also gets a bit of a breather now. But today is going to be a big day. Will it be opposition unity or not in Kashmir? We'll see.